only his combo game because you see people like Matty G with right. his crumb, right? Excellent combo game. But what James does is he multi-game conditions. Right. He will do down tilts, see what you do, and then as he realizes your reaction off down tilt, two games later, he will yeah. punish it to the way that you left, exactly. he left it open before. Yeah, and DeBuzz obviously, same can be said for him. We, we already know leagues about how great this guy is. I mean, and what's funny is that they have to play, uh, they've played a few times in Smash 4. I don't, they've never played an ultimate, mm -hmm. but in Smash 4, whenever James would travel, DeBuzz was his bracket demon. Mm -hmm. There were so many events where he was just praying that he wouldn't have to play DeBuzz. But this is a new game. He has a new character. He doesn't play Diddy Kong. It's not Diddy Rosa. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, these two do have a little bit of a history in the past game. Yeah, you know, and also going into this one as well, we're sitting here talking a lot about James's prowess and his ability to set up the buzz. Same way. Right. He's the immovable wall. The Granted, he's pieces. a lot more aggressive than people give credit, yeah. but he's still, his defense is really yeah. hard to mix up. Like, you can't open him up very easy, and he will let you feel like you have an option that's open, and, and then, then afterwards, explode. He will wait until you will die for it to, to, to show you that that option is bad. Yeah, and getting started here on Pokemon Stadium, uh, pretty even. Um, this matchup's going to be very interesting because we've heard a lot about Olimar and how that up smash is completely yeah. broken. And But Olimar traditionally doesn't well, do mean, good against, against swords. I mean, you shape on shield, you get right. a combo game out of it, you get so many good things out of that up smash, but it's um it's so it's such a good utilization tool for what James wants. Right. He wants to approach through the air. Right. That up smash is going to be the best anti-air option he has available. That's him. right. And we're gonna see a lot of Pikmin just dying left and right because Krom was like, oh, James. Oh, yeah, you're nice right. Jab yeah, the Pikmin there. all disappeared. And those Pikmin were gone. Like, this sword is gonna be slicing those things in half every five seconds. And so. being able to, like, I like what James is doing right now. That he's got the stock lead. It's like, all right, right. I'm not gonna commit to an approach. Right. I'll play the clock, which I just realized is eight minutes today compared to seven. But. Right. <laughs> uh, I, so now DeBuzz has more time to work with in the stamina game here. But he's oh, going to catch him. Run up, up smash right there. Yeah, sometimes you just got to do it. Sometimes and when you, just do it. When you're at zero, what's the what's the worst you're going to get on that trade? You might take jab to back air. Okay, right. cool. That's some damage I had to take. But instead, he got the kill because he called out the jump. Wow, James doing a great job here. Just zero to 40. And this is where this matchup is really going to be crucial. James is at the ledge. is amazing. Alomar not traditionally that good at the ledge, mm -hmm. and Krom is broken at the ledge. So yeah, that F tilt still covering so much. That, that F, -tilt, F tilt still contender for one of the best moves in right. the game. And but you already see the buzz. He's sticking to his cause, even though James has opened them up quite a few times to take a percent lead. Look how swift the buzz racks it right back up. Right. And DeBuzz just trying to get off that ledge immediately. He does not want to play with James. James doing a nice jump back here. Just when the buzz thought he was safe, nice jump back here, and he died hella early. Oh, That's man. such an underutilized option because of how much weaker it is compared to the last game. But right. it's still a good option to catch people off guard. And if you get them sleeping, you get that stock. The thing that James is doing well, regardless of the percent that the boss puts on, is he is able to close out these stressful situations a lot easier. Man, DeBuzz getting no air there, man. Looking for space. He has one Pikmin on deck. It's the Pikmin he wants, but James is not giving him space and not letting him take these out. Yeah, he's going to be able to get... The, uh, you know, a little bit of a better lineup now. He's got uh, the white one on deck to rack up a little bit more damage, but having two purples, he's going to be able to catch him jumping if he uh, decides to overexert. And James just, I mean, oh man, James living a very, very long one. Oh and that's boy. such a good option out of shield there. 26% for free. Oh boy, and this is where it's an, oh, okay. The bus choosing to pick an offensive option there and landing with the down air, which is, is gonna help him, because last time, if he air dodged, he was going to die. Oh. He had to pick an option that was not gonna get him killed. Was, exactly. The defensive like, option would've gotten killed. There. Attacking at a disadvantage is not necessarily the best option all the time, but when you see somebody's being super aggressive, just go for it sometimes. Right. All right, and, and DeBuzz, you know, bringing it back a little bit, you know, at least the stocks are even, but now he's at the ledge. Double and parry, almost catching him with the F tilt on the neutral getup. Oh, he almost had the roll as well. All right, and DeBuzz with the up smash to, to, to Purple Pikmin. The crowd's going a little wild here for another set that's happening next. Yeah, I don't know if that was, uh, <laughs> uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. I'm yeah. not sure if that was actually uh, the Royal Rumble or if that was a real match. Whoa, that's going to be a stock. Yeah. yeah, game one going to James at New Jersey is popping off. So on the other stream, I don't know if that was the Royal Rumble or if it was actually top 32, but it was top that 32. was top 32, was which wishes. is just beat light. Just beat light. What's up?
Winner's and quarters. Wishes just beat Light. And you know what? Uh, it's interesting because he traditionally has had rough time against Light specifically. Mm -hmm. Some of his runs have been ended by Light. Um, but yeah, that's what people are popping off for. And now they're going to be popping off for Game yeah. 2 New Jersey doing New Jersey doing a great job to buzz what down the again world? against James. Leon just beat Nairo. And Wishes just beat uh, Light. What in the world is going this on is here today? This is an amazing These tournament, guys. The people who were pretty much pre-pegged. Like, anybody who had a draft of some kind before it, throw it in the trash. Yeah, and you made your side bets and you went safe. Your side bet Discord is currently is in, shambles in shambles right shambles. now. You're shook. And Town and City now for game two. The buzz probably, I, I assume James probably banned FD, and uh, you know, the buzz probably going for the second best option, which is probably Town and City. Yeah, probably FD Kalos. Like, last thing right. he wants to do is be walled out by the buzz, who gets right. more room. It's just reset. James wants to close the gap as much as possible. Right. And every time he's closed the gap, look how much damage He's like, he gets compared to the buzz. Yeah, and, and you know, what James is doing great here is not letting the buzz land and keeping him at the ledge. Uh, you know, Alomar doesn't have great options in those scenarios, but look at his damage output. I mean, already he's up. Now, see, this is a situation where the buzz shines. When you force Krom, who has a relatively weak recovery, at the ledge, his ledge trap game is always on point. He will right. consistently push you off. James has to play perfectly, but luckily for James that time, the platform was just in a good enough position to recover without getting punished. Yeah, and uh, James answering with these F-tills, not giving up. Ooh. I think that might have been a little bit of a DI. That, Actually, no. Yeah. If he DI'd in, he would have died to up, uh, up throw anyways. But blue throw being yeah. a little bit stronger, definitely didn't think it was going to kill. Right. But F tilt doesn't need any rage. Does that it? move yeah. is amazing. It is blessed by whoever decided to approve it at the developer office. Right. <laughs> I mean, Krom's tilts are just so scary, and, and you know, for a character like Alomar who's gonna have trouble landing and getting juggled, this is that's really what we're seeing is when James is winning, it's off of these, like the tilt pressure and just Alomar not being able to land. Exactly, and you see that doing all the bars, trying to box his way back in, taking that 26%, he's yet again being buried, but the buzz, not seeming too, too phased by a lot of these frame traps, regardless of being in a deficit. Like, he's very good at keeping his composure regardless of being behind. Yeah. And, man, I mean, James has got to be careful, man. These Pikmin rack up damage really, really fast. I mean, that white one is particularly, I think, does the most damage when it latches onto you. It does. And uh, I think a big thing in James's mind right now is like, you know what? I'm taking a lot of damage from these ticks, but I have killed the buzz first every time so far. Almost catching him on a frame trap potentially there, but doesn't get the j uh, the jab to bear there to potentially force yeah. him off stage. And and you know we got I'm watching closely at what the buzz is doing here. He's playing it very smart because it it just feels wow. Man. Wow. Just you as play, I said that. He went smart. He, he got rid smart of his Pikmin, and James was like, all right, but bro, there's a sword and it is, is a swing it. Yeah, your and body it is coming are for gone. you. Man, James, great reaction there and just, you know, reacting perfectly to that situation. I swear, I've never seen Jersey as a collective happier than what is going on in this building yeah, right now. This Everybody is, with the cheesiest smiles on their this face. This is our tournament right now. This is amazing. All of our boys are doing great. You know, you got to hold down the house, man. Like, you want to make sure that you're consistently telling people, yo, you come into my turf, we're going to put in that work. Right. And, you know, we already saw what happened with Nairo. We're right. seeing this lead coming in from James. Like, this is really good. Yeah, James, uh, like, really, he's smart, really smart recovery from James. There. He, did, he went a little higher than normal so that he can hit uh, uh, DeBuzz with his up B before he even snapped the ledge. Like, it's a little good, it's a good mix up there. I love what James is doing as well. He's just running up. He, it looks like he's just throwing out jabs, right? But he's not. He's throwing out a jab to bait a potential whistle to put another jab to get damage. It's like, all right. And he catches Ooh. him at the ledge with double edge dance. Oh, yeah, we have a Wait, that bait a there. 2 0 lead yeah. for James after we just had Nairo go down to Leon. We just had Light go down to Wishes. And now we have potentially James. Maybe 3 0 over. I think the, I think the buzz is going to switch. I mean, I, I can imagine that Rosa is probably even worse against Krom. He has the Rosa. He has uh, he has a Palutena. He has, the, uh, he has Palutena. And, you know, James actually, uh, personally, he's told me he really doesn't like Palutena. He doesn't like that matchup. But earlier on stream, he just he did really good against Palutena. I don't know if maybe this is all going into DeBuzz's mind, but DeBuzz is a master. He's one of the greats. He's one of the greatest of all time. I can't wait to see what changes he makes in this game. You don't become I that actually, consistent. I actually really enjoy watching players like DeBuzz and Nairo and all them when their back is to the wall. Yeah. Because that's where you see how brilliant those players are. Like He's going to have to answer these things from James. And we're about to see what he's going to do. Let's see if he goes back to Alomar. 
I, I think, yeah, you know, actually she's just going to run it as the Olimar. I agree heavily with what you said. If you ever want to improve as a player, go and watch. Right. When their back is against the wall, even if they lose that set, what were they doing right. to run it back? And how did they adjust? Right. It's going to be so important that the buzz plays perfectly and, like, figure out what's going on. But 26% yeah, right off the bat. Answering that up smash on block with a up B immediately, that's not safe, my guy. Yeah, James just, and I wonder if, I wonder if stuff like that, you know, it really gets in a player's head where they, and now he cut off an option in DeBuzz's mind. DeBuzz is maybe going to second guess whether he can do that move again. And that time he caught on to the fact that he was going to go for the ether, but now James has to mix up game. It's like, all right, you finally didn't get punished by my ether? I'm probably going to tomahawk in front of you next right. time. And that's the that's what I love watching. With good smash is watching two players probably constantly adapting. And you know, I thought I thought James was very dominant just now, but oh Jab Rar Bear, James does not miss that confirm. I was about to say how even the game was. Look and the second he got to buzz at the ledge, I mean the buzz just lost the stock off of a jab. It's like we are just cursing the buzz every second we get. Yeah, like man. we're sitting there com complimenting on how he's adjusting to the defense, but the ledge traps have been immaculate from James so far. Right. Once yeah, and, and you know I I feel like DeBuzz is playing his same game, but maybe a little more careful. He's just trying to space and get that damage up better, but he's gotten 45% off of that. You know what's working really well for James right now? After watching that situation yet again occur, I'm noticing that the buzz just seems to be having a bit of an issue with wow. dealing with the out-of-shield options in general, like the proper yeah. spacing of Krom. Like, how do I get in close enough? Jab the bear again! again! And, yeah. you know, that's the thing is that... Olimar is very good at up smashing people's block when they don't have a disjoint that can space, like punish him for doing it from too far. But with Krom, you can't do that. Yeah, everybody jokes about the fact that Olimar's a sword fighter, right? Well, there's an actual sword on yeah, the other side right. of this that's putting in absolute work. And he. Oh my god, are we I, about to see a three stock? I mean, the buzz is having no, a really that hard will time finally here. put him on. No, it's not gonna put him on the wow. board! The buzz cannot find anything to work for him right now. James is just walking James, away with everything he wants to. But yeah, James was jumping off that platform immediately. He knew that up smash was coming, and then the buzz just going for it. And now, you know, this is something. Oh, a down smash hitting below the ledge. Yeah, not having enough of uh, invincibility at that point. He was at 167. Right. That's going to happen. <gasps> Man, reading the air dodge in, but just misspacing it a bit. He's been going for jab the bears this entire time, so and he now, knew that the air dodge was coming. Now, is he going to go for it and read it again, maybe? James he just out the f uh, I'm smash, like, look, I'll trade, you die. I don't care if you're throwing out hitboxes. You're just going to die to this. Yeah. And, I mean, DeBuzz playing really carefully. He's just trying to get that damage in, but it looks like he's all of his... It looks like everything he wants, has, James has an answer to. And his disadvantage state is nowhere near as bad as Trump either right now, too. He was able to throw out a hitbox to push James back off. This is, like, and he has to play immaculate. Everything about what he does right now at 101%, yes. he can't take a straight hitbox from Krom. He if, will if he gets jabbed, he's going to die. A jab rar bear is coming, and he has to be super careful play around that jab. That jab is super fast. Yeah, he's doing a good job of catching the fact that James is trying to box his way in to close this out. But James also has the F2! And the and that's going to be a 3-0 victory the for Pikmin James over the buzz. extended the, the hitbox. It stalled it a bit, just enough to get hit. And look at people crowding over James. What? 3-0 over the buzz, man. What in the hell is this tournament? This tournament, loser's bracket is just DQ yourself. Just DQ yourself from losers. You have to Yo. fight light. You have to fight the buzz. You have to fight Nairo. Dude, just DQ yourself from losers. This is and insane. And if you didn't decide to come out oh to this, you, have, you are missing you out. Are you are bummed. Just, Go into Twitter right now and Yo. say, nobody will believe you. Nairo's in losers, Wishes is in losers, I mean, excuse me, Light's in losers, and the Buzz is in losers. Can I just talk about my New Jersey brethren? No, I'm going to go, go ahead. Have, preach it, preach it, go ahead. You, get, you earned this one. I don't want Nairo to lose. He's one of our bros, too. But our local guys just completely sweeping these PGR players.